Rala, January 14, 1862. Dear relatives, I received your kind letter of the first at rather a late date. I had almost made up my mind that you had not received my letter, but I have got an answer at last, which is better late than never. I assure you that letters is very acceptable with me, placed in the position that I am in away from home and its influences. You may be sure that when I get news from home, it seems as though I were enjoying a sweet communion with them. I have been away from Rolla for some time. Last New Year's, we were ordered to saddle our horses to prepare for a march. Our destination was not known until we arrived at a town called Lebanon, which is about 65 miles from here. It was composed chiefly of secessionists. When we got there, they had all gone, so we occupied their houses for a few days. We were within 50 miles of Price's men, and we had but 400 men, so we could not hold that place, and came back about 15 miles. Major Wright, the man that commanded us, had some special orders to send in to Rolla. It fell upon me to carry it. I went alone. There is most always some rebels scouting around the country and on the highways to stop dispatches and doing all sorts of mischief. But I had a good horse and well armed so that I did not fear them much. Well, I arrived safe at Rolla after traveling most all day and night and delivered the message safe in the hands of General Wyman. I expect to return soon. There is a forward movement going on at this point. There has been 4,000 infantry left here yesterday, also 2,000 cavalry. Their object is to surround Price on the east. 36th Regiment has left on that expedition. Our boys have taken quite a number of prisoners. Four or five are officers. I am glad to hear that Aunt is getting better. I hope that when I return, I may see her in good health and using the strength of her limbs. It is getting late and I will have to close, so give my love to all inquiring friends, also with some for yourself. Give my respects to Mrs. Tucker, also to Mary. Clark was well when I saw him last. From your affectionate cousin, Myron J. Amick.